he uh, plowed himself in pretty good. He come around that corner, plowed himself in pretty good. Then. There's a culvert in front of it, so I got to turn it pretty steep, coming right out. And uh, I don't dare to go forward any because it gets deeper and wetter. And if I don't have anything under that right rear tire, she could get in trouble. So I've got this strap over the back as a precautionary measure. I've got a down pull from the D-ring. And i got a two-part line to the front to lift the front out. So, we'll get started. All right, cut the wheels to the left as soon as you can. I have to watch that strap over the back, make sure my cable doesn't go slack. I want it to stay with me. Looking good. Plus, it's also buried right into the step on the other side, and he's lucky he didn't damage it yet. I didn't mention this thing had the full load of wood, two and a half cords. Uh, this truck here, I mean, he might have three cord on. Okay, cut it back, cut it back uh, straight. Just want to make sure this cable don't hit your pad. I don't care how close it comes, as long as you don't touch. Okay, so at this point now, I'm going to want to boom up and in. i boom up first so I can tighten up my slat. Boom in. Now, hold your brake just a second. I got to boom in a little. Just want to get away from your windshield. But I need it to be out there to pick it. All right, let me get this line. Watch this line here. Is that clearing? All right, that's going to be your drag line. Pull it right up into the road with that one. It should start going away. You got plenty of clearance there. Okay, hold your brakes. Let me go check the back. This is soggy over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I wouldn't have wanted to go very far forward. I want to go straight to the side out. Okay, hold your brakes for a second. Okay, let me uh, have you cut the wheel hard to the left again. Good. Just want to make sure you don't touch. I'll release the brakes. Alright, set the brakes and go look on the other side and see if you're on the road. I think you are. I'll start getting ready to move and let traffic go. Now see, I always have my boom up and out as much as possible so that I can... Okay, you can get out now so that I can uh, break my unit down quick. And I never backline, never backline my winches. So if you, uh, if you use your boom for what it's designed for, going up and going out is not just for show. That is, that is so that you can that is so that you can move your, your load quickly and safely, of course. 
without having to backwind your winches. If you backwind your winches, you've got a big problem. I'm just going to disconnect this one up here. Here, can you push that in, Pat, so I can get it disconnected? I, I don't have enough hands. Here, maybe I've got to back it off some more. Yeah, I remember which way the thing goes here. Yeah, that goes like that. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna pull out of the way. Traffic Another successful job with the good old uh, Holmes 552. I've got a lot of wreckers. I always wanted a 552. And I got lucky, I got a 552B, which is preferable. And it happens to be on a nice setup. With a, 650 Ford, big rubber, big brakes, works great, alright now we can let the traffic go, everybody's happy.